Hello everybody, Brios here And for you guys today, I have an Inner Sphere Assault mech And if you recognize this mech with its long antenna, which kind of reminds me of a cockroach honestly Well, you'll know this baby as the 80 ton Inner Sphere battle mech, the Zeus And the variant I have for you guys today is the Zeus 9S Which to be really honest is one of the better variants out there and the build I have for you guys today was actually shared with me by Bookish Worm uh, But honestly, I know quite a few people who run this And I decided to, well, give it a try So what is this build? Well, it's an ER large laser blue laser build Blue laser being the term we use for long range laser fire In this particular build, we have 3 ER large lasers in the left arm And the other 3 are 2 in the left torso and 1 in the centre torso So you can fire them in groups of 3 left arm and also in the other group so you won't generate ghost heat and to dissipate the heat we have 19 double heat sinks which is not too bad uh, and with an XL 350 engine it moves at a very respectable speed of 70.9 and here's a totally useless fact you see the speed here is 70.9 but if you look at the engine it says 70.8 <gasps> Oh no, there is a difference. Okay, anyway, that's not important. And we also have a TCOM Mark II to increase the range of the ER large lasers. No more slots, so pretty optimal build. Uh, but do take note, it is an XL build. So once you lose a torso, you are pretty much screwed. So you gotta play this back pretty carefully. Always practice your defensive gameplay before you play assaults with XL engines. But anyway, with that being said, um, this build is also left side heavy with its, all its weapons on the left side either in the left arm or the left torso or in the center so with a build like this you always play a mech to its strength that's pretty obvious so you always would prefer to left peek around the hill corner peek uh, so you can fire your ER large lasers in the left arm and the left torso and also the CT uh, without exposing too much of your mech so always prefer peeking over the left side of the hill rather than the right side so anyway, with that being said, the quirks are actually also pretty darn good and it suits this build. So this build is pretty common. And if you look at the quirks here, it gets an energy cooldown of 10%, allowing the 6 ER large lasers to fire faster. To help dissipate the heat, the 19 double heat sinks also has the benefit of a heat reduction of minus 10% to the ER large lasers. A range boost of 10% works together with the TCOM Mark II to give it a nice range of 900 over meters, which is pretty darn decent, and that's optimal range. It has some other missile quirks, but we are not using it. The missiles are on the right arm, only one hard point, and we're not using it, so that's going to be a shield arm. So anyway, let's get down to the skills. For a laser build, um, I'm running full range because ER large lasers can't really match the range of Gauss rifles and clan ER large lasers so I'm getting all the range nodes for a range boost of 15% I also got all the heat gen nodes because obviously ER large lasers if you're gonna bolt them are pretty darn hot so all the skills give me a minus 10.5% to the heat because I had a few SPs left over, I decided to get uh, 6 nodes of cooldown, just a bit to help it fire faster, 5.25%, um, yeah just a bit. And also we have the laser duration nodes. These nodes actually do help a lot by reducing the burn time of the lasers and that's always a problem. So shorter burn time means same damage in a shorter period of time so you can duck back into cover or start to initiate defensive gameplay like twisting your torso. So 4 nodes of laser duration gives you a laser burn duration reduction of 15%. So moving along to survivability, um, like I said this is an XL build using its speed and torso twist to survive. So to help it survive longer because assaults are still big and chunky, we have all the scatter flow density nodes and all the armor hardening nodes. That gives it an armor bonus of 18% and a structure bonus which structure actually absorbs heat also of 33%. So it has quite a bit of armor but it is XL so still have to be extra careful and play defensively. Moving on to operations, we have 5 nodes of cool run for 10% heat dissipation and 5 nodes of heat containment for a boost of 15% to the capacity. These nodes heat containment are especially useful if you are bolting heat 6. And hill climb, um, these work really well nowadays so 3 nodes of hill climbs gives you a minus 45% slowdown when you reach hills and yeah, it's really useful now. So anyway, onwards to sensors. 3 nodes of radar deprivation reduces the time the enemy locks onto you when you're in cover by 60%. 
these notes will be changed to 19% each instead of 20 so that will come in in the December patch so post December patch instead of 60% radar deprivation this will be 57% minor change also because you're playing long range you need advanced zoom this single note really worth it gives you a picture in picture and uh, picture in picture zoom and it's always useful and finally to auxiliary this is still a really hot build despite the heat quirk so two cool shots and a cool shot cool down to find a second one 25% faster and I do like packing my strikes to suppress the enemy so I can move from cover to cover so I mainly use strikes nowadays to just deny positions and you could use UAVs but I decided to get this useful at times so that's it guys that's it for the blue laser Zeus 9S as you can see most of his weapons on the left side it is XL, so you have to play carefully and peek around the corners on the left side. Hill humping is not preferred because the mounts are pretty low. Cockpit is here, weapons are all below the cockpit. So, yep, try not to hill hump. So anyway, with that being said, let's get down to the gameplay and let's watch some blue laser action. So let's go. So for today's two showcase matches, they will both be on Terra Terma Crucible. Crucible being the edited Terra Terma map that the new map guy uh, Cracks decks did to make it a bit better supposedly but honestly it is quite a problematic map at the moment he basically removed the higher level and that results in a huge open area in the center kind of like a bowl and it is mainly an issue in domination and talking about domination this particular match the first showcase match will be on crucible domination which is the biggest problem um, you'll see that I'm playing a six era large laser Zeus and I'm dropping in a group together with Blue Devil and GRAM, GRAM being really good at long range. Uh, but we just wanted to test this map to see how long range max perform on it. And as you see from the gameplay, which I was streaming live on my Twitch channel, uh, this map and game mode is the biggest problem. Cracks Dex, the map guy says he will shift the rocks a bit to give a bit more cover. Um, but we hope he'll come in soon because as you see from the gameplay, it's just terrible for domination. Let's try this. Soon. Oh, there they are. Oh. Hey, Clumsy. Thanks for the surf. Gonna have to focus on shooting stuff though. Under satellite dish, there's a kit box. Taking damage. You just stand here, stupid. Is he still there? No, he's gone. Nope. New target acquired. Artillery yep, got my strike activated. out. You got a mini map view? Yeah, take a look here. It's a nice mini map view. New target acquired. Target spot, target spotted. Shooting people outside the mini map. Crap, it's running with you. Life at Echo 5. Heat level critical. Override shut down. Bit too much. Target spotted. Online. What do you call Acquired. Atlas. Critical. critical. Okay, let's move in a bit. Is that GRAM on the right? No, it's dark drops. New target acquired. Yeah, right flank, they're pushing right side. Atlas is hard. Target spotted. Artillery strike online. Heat level critical. New target acquired. Is that a crab? It's a bushwhacker. Okay, present right New side. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Cool down a bit. Enemy is not in a good position. Target acquired. But we've only got one kill so far. Artillery strike. Everybody's online. here. There'll be GRM. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Oh, this poor guy. Smashed New by GRM. Acquired. See, the hills on the side here are the problem also. Oh no, too low. Yeah, the hills here are not making it fair. Yep. Making it kind of a strong advantage. They have the other side, but they're not using it here. Circle, circle, circle. Yeah, we time circle. Let's just drop a strike. New target acquired. Let's focus his right. Oh, his right torso is already blown off. Anybody here? Yep. 
deal the damage, stop the counter. Let all these cap warriors panic less. I'm not dealing a lot of damage, that is the problem. Oh, I got a kill though. No war horn. Five nil. Time to drop down. Target spotted. Get assist. Low target acquired. Target spotted. Eight level critical. AC twenty heavy large ER Low medium. That is truly a strange build. Critical. Override shutdown. Hot hot hot. Yeah. Two people here. Gonna reverse into the center. New target acquired. Here he comes. Heat vision. Target destroyed. Excel. Override shutdown. I got a lot of structure. Yeah, don't YouTube this one. So I guess. Either one of you. The snipers are just murdering everybody in this map. Yep. Somebody said leave. Execute. <laughs> That's not who was toxic to him. What? What's happening in chat here? He he because of a toxic community. What's happening here? Confracto says yeah. See what people think of it makes me feel sad for Francio. Halfway there. Francio tried his best. I am happy. I wish him all the best. Yep. Target spotted. We almost have it. We got a new map, so I'm glad people he gave us a new map. Uh could be better, but we don't know the background what's really happening in people's life. Was he like pressured by time? Uh does he not give a damn? Did he make the correct decision and people overrode him? Really hard to say. So he gave us a map. And then when he left, people complained, no map, you know. So, don't know what happened behind the scenes, so shall not speculate. Thanks giving, so I give thanks, we have a new map. <laughs> yep, 1000 damage, oh my god, I didn't do, I didn't realize I did 1000 damage, yep. GRM 1004, alright, that's GRM for you. Like I said, really good player at range. Uh, yeah, I did a thousand. So as you could see from the previous match, game mode was domination and that game mode is a problem on this map because the circle has absolutely no cover and in fact to make things worse, the circle is surrounded by a ring of high level rocks which me and GRAM and a few others got on top and just shot the enemy to bits. So this map on domination especially is a sniper fest. Either that or you run around in, in a huge round circle, also known as a NASCAR, or you spread all over the place and play stupidly, and that's not good. But Crackstacks, the map guy, did say he will do something about it, so we'll just see what happens. But anyway, right now we have another game mode, and this one is Conquest, which isn't so bad. Uh, but the center where the circle should be in domination is also lacking cover, so I honestly hope some fixes come in soon. So anyway, we've walked up to the enemy, let's start shooting. So 1000 meters range, one shadow cat. This is what I mentioned about the circle, the empty area in the center where the circle should be. There's just no cover. So long range makes have a distinct advantage, especially from these high rocks. And shorter range makes have to go by the flanks, which always ends up as a NASCAR. In case you didn't know, the more recent maps have features to reduce NASCAR. It still happens, but a lot less than before. So you see this atlas and the cataphract behind, they have no range, so they're just giving us free damage here as they try to do a wide flank. And they're gonna rotate straight into my main force, which is on my right, if you look at the minimap. Gonna leave them be. Fox 7, one medium. Fox 6, one assault. So we've got a few mechs on my left also. So the enemy team has split. Big boys and a few like the Shadowcat I just shot, going by the right side. 
and a few on my left here. Oh, found count to us, yeah, close up. Lithium to us. And the openness of the center just allows me to do free damage on the target acquired. Horace Alpha. New target. So those on my left are pushing really hard. Very broadly group. Got a Krail, we got an Atlas. No, that's a Corusa. But Mr. Ben, the victor down below, is going to go in and brawl. Brave Soul tanking damage for everybody. 4v1 and he goes down. Um yeah, I'm outnumbered. They're like six versus me. Trying to get a Corsair. Nah, the Apex gets it. So gonna fall back. Thankfully we have an Annihilator and a, I think a Stormcrow with me. Yeah, the Krill goes down. No shielding, yep, no torso. Seven, guys, please fight. No torso twisting by the Krill. Just goes down fast. 3-2. We have a slight advantage. That Kintaro is surrounded. I'm worried about my right. Checking right first. Before I try to get his right torso. Nah, fail gets him. So you see that push faulted. The enemy push. Fight Echo 6 now. And our team, if you don't worry about caps. If you look at the minimap, yep. but don't worry about caps, please. We are more or less together. One light mag on my left. Just engaging the Annihilator. Big tanky boy can take damage. Still really close, 4 3. I have 3 RLR lasers in my left arm. So I can actually engage the targets below. But I would prefer not to drop down. Talking about engaging targets below. There's the Atlas. Excel Atlas. Seriously? Okay. 5 4, still close. Dial Breaker's Cord. I was about to go in and brawl, but I got pissed off at this Arctic Cheater who harassed me earlier. So I just want him to die. <laughs> yep, he goes down. Saskia in the Atlas. Nice lady. But she's alone, I'm gonna shoot her to bits. Fox 7, Atlas, and one left. Yeah, that's the other Arctic Cheater. I wanted to get Saskia in, his, in her Atlas. But. Gotta be careful of that Arctic Cheater. New target acquired. He's still target there. Spotted. Another one. Fox hmm. seven. But eight four. We've more or less won this. Target acquired. I'm kind of confused yeah, well, where, where to go. But I decide to farm this guy here. Target destroyed. Yep, I got a kill. Nice Nine four. Acquired. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that. So the last three probably fast movers spread out everywhere. So that's a problem with this map. Like I said, big open I'm area as you can see here, here where I'm looking, with rocks surrounding it. So max like me perch on the top have a wonderful, wonderful view shooting people. And if you have no range, this is hell. Yep. The only way for short range max to get us is to go by the flanks. And like I said, uh, it, it can cause the team to split up, which is what happened to the enemy this time. And now it's just fragments. Like they get the frag. This is an XL build, so I gotta protect my left torso. Every time damage comes in, quickly twist to present my right torso. Anyway, it's 10-4. Time to go in and brawl. I got a bit of armor Target left. Destroyed. Nope. KMDD. No kill though. Alright. We're down to the last one. So I'm just gonna fast forward this section because the last mech is a Shadow Cat. You guys know it's always a Shadow Cat, right? It's so predictable. But anyway, it gives me a good time to talk about this map and this mech. So the Zeus 9S with 6 ERA large lasers is actually pretty XL friendly as you could see from this match with its combination of range, mobility, speed and well, armor slash structure. It can play well with Excel. Just be careful of your positioning and don't bite off more do than you can chew. This map itself, Crucible, is a problem, especially on Domination. The big open center and that area surrounded by high level rocks is just a recipe for disaster. If you have no range, and range does really well on this map, if you have no range, you either make a white NASCAR or you spread out sillily like in this match and you get picked up one by one. But anyway, I'm approaching Gamma. Uh, let's get the last guy. So approaching Gamma, heat vision for a better view. Good contrast, there he is. It's a Shadow Cat, true enough. Um, uh, yep, managed to get him. He got a PPC shot on me though. 
and I guess we win the game. So let's take a look at the damage output for this map and this mech. So 985 damage, 3 KMDDs, 2 kills with 1 solo isn't bad at all, and a very nice match score 629. So that's it ladies and gents for this video on the ER Large Laser Boating Zeus 9S, a very capable long range mech and capable of matching most clan mechs at range. And also, Crucible is really bad. Let's look forward to the changes that are coming. So till next time guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a nice day. Ciao.